back and let's get started right away and we're going to talk about base 10 blocks a little bit today and you've probably used base 10 blocks in your math classes to model whole numbers but what if you could use base 10 blocks to model fractions all right here is one way to model seven tenths and i'm going to write seven tenths again so it's a little clearer for some people seven tenths here's one way we can model seven tenths so any number in tenths can be written as a fraction or a decimal. And to write a fraction as a decimal, we use a decimal point. So 7 tenths, written as a fraction form, is the same as writing it 0 0.7. And since 7 tenths or 0 0.7 are less than one whole, we write 0 before the decimal point to show that there's no whole number part. I think the other reason that we really do that is so we don't get confused. So um, if you were to write just 0 0.7, um, this, and you use the period on your keyboard, that is really small usually. And if you don't write a zero in front of it, it's really hard to catch it sometimes. So it's very important that you do write the zero for the whole for the ones place. And so maybe we should talk about that. Uh, I'll use a different decimal. Let's talk about place value. If I have, let's say that, this 2 represents the 100 spot, this 1 represents the 10 spot, and this 0 represents the 1 spot. Go in the other direction, let's say it keeps going, which you'll explore a little bit later in this unit. This 3 represents something called tenths. We have something called hundredths and something called thousandths. And so today we are just focused on this place value here, the one directly to the right of the, the decimal. And so always there will be a ones and a tenths with a decimal place in, in the middle. The one, the decimal place divides the ones, the whole numbers, the whole numbers go this way from the part numbers, which are going this way. Now we can also use a place value chart to show a decimal. And this might be a little bit easier to look at. I have a place value chart here with ones and tenths, and that decimal point is between the ones place and the tenths place, as you can see. Now, one other thing to note is, let's say I write seven tenths as a fraction again. I s pronounce this seven tenths, seven tenths. And this word tenths is important. We, we learned that we pronounce that tenths, anything down below there is usually got a THS on the end, not always, but quite often. And we would also say this is 7 tenths. And the reason we say that is that is the tenth spot um, in place value. So there's definitely a connection between the two. One is in a fraction, which we're saying tenths. It's a part. Uh, it's a whole divided into 10 equal pieces. But you got to imagine one being divided into 10 equal pieces. And so if we have 7 tenths, we're saying the same thing. I'm going to get you to try some. I'd like you to write each of these pictures as a fraction and as a decimal for the colored part for each picture. And for my black circle there, there is um, there is three green shaded there if you're, you can't quite see that on your screen. So pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, so the first thing that's really important for all of these is to count up the whole. And when we're counting up the whole, how many equal parts are there? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I definitely know it's going to be out of ten. How many are colored? Three. Well, three tenths is the same as saying three tenths. Now, you, you could say this is zero and three tenths. That's a proper way of pronouncing that. You acknowledge the zero as being zero, the ones place as being a zero, you say zero and. So anytime you see a decimal, you would actually read this little guy here as and. So zero and three tenths. I, I don't really care for the zero and three tenths. I just say three tenths. Uh, either way it works. So three tenths is the answer for that one. Let's move on to our pentagon here. Equal parts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. How many are shaded? All but two. So that'd be eight tenths. And its equivalent in decimal is eight tenths. 
Let's move on to the, the square at the bottom here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've verified that there is ten equal pieces. How many are colored? Four. Four tenths. And lastly, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Five of them are colored in. And our equivalent decimal is that. I'm going to get you to try another one here. I've written it out in words, but I'd like you to write each as a fraction and as a decimal. Pause it and come back when you're ready. All right, so the first one we have here is six tenths. Six tenths. Zero and six tenths. B is one tenth. And we have that as our decimal. Seven tenths. Seven tenths. And our decimal is as such. And nine tenths, nine tenths is the fraction, and that is our decimal. I'm gonna give you a bonus one here. What would you write if I wrote 10 tenths? What is the fraction, what's the decimal for that one? Well, 10 tenths. Now, what am I gonna do for this decimal here? I would have 10 out of 10, and I would have a hole there, 1.0. I would have one hole because 10 out of 10, and if I was to draw a picture and this was all, you know, colored in, it's, you know, whatever, all would be colored 10 tenths. I would say that's whole, the whole thing's colored. So this is the highest fraction possible, one hole. All right, one last one here. I'd like you to explain how zero and eight tenths or eight tenths of this picture is green. Pause it, come back when you're ready. All right, I gotta admit, I tricked you here. I totally tricked you. So um, the first thing we need to do is count up equal parts. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six equal parts. This fraction would be four, six. The problem here is we can't make a decimal um, that is zero, you know, eight tenths. Eight tenths does not equal four, six. This is six. I need it to say tenths. So the problem with this picture is it's not divided into 10 equal pieces, it's divided into six equal pieces. So that's very important. I just wanted to stress that you do need 10 equal pieces on the pictures to show tenths. All right, there you have it, guys. You're learning about decimals now, changing our pictures and our fractions into decimals based upon 10 equal parts. All right, please remember, in life, math happens. Take care. Thank you.